Hai hai semuanya, gua Zeno. Uh, kita bakalan ngelanjutin game Sen Kotar lagi. Kemarin itu kita udah naik perahu dan udah sampai di tempatnya. Sekarang kita mau samperin tempat di mana Nikolai itu berada. Mudah-mudahan kita masih bisa nemuin Nikolai dalam keadaan hidup ya. Yuk, kita langsung masuk ke game ya. Katur's boat. The inside is so dark. No, wait. It is full of blood. Damn crows! Arson's boat, which I intend to return to the old man. The dreaded cleck with its three finger-like rocks. Ominous. It looks like a portal to the underworld. <sighs> Click. <laughs> Crows. They are everywhere. At least a dozen circling above these finger-like rocks. I should try to find some clues where Hatur might have taken Nikolai as quickly as possible. This rock looks like an altar. Blood. Lots of blood here. Drag marks in the blood. Splatter to the right of the rock. Now smaller drops. Very hard to spot. They lead towards those small rocks. Look at that sun. Three triangles with a line down the middle. It's the same symbol we saw on the balcony door. Seven symbols, marks, or something else. Whatever it is, it symbolizes something malevolent. struggling to notice anything here but those look like bloody fingerprints footprints and marks of a body being dragged into the woods was nikolai sacrificed here i have no choice i must follow the clues jadi ketakutan banget itu dengan suaranya Blood has led me here to a water mill deep inside the woods, and I was followed the whole time. I can hear something a very faint sound coming from down there. A small window is hidden behind this bush. That's Nikolai. He's either unconscious or dead. That massive pendulum is about to slice him in two. Nikolai! Wake up, Nikolai! Nothing. He's not moving. They all look the same. A tripod structure with two triangles on top. 
made of twigs and tied up with a yellow plant root. It's the symbol from the house. I'm not sure if they are meant to keep the worshippers safe or harm the sacrifice by deepening their pain. Digantung kita jadi ingat Blair Witch dulu. Ada game juga sih, apa gue mainin dulu. Tapi kata orang-orang game nya kurang bagus. God, judging by the ghastly look of the face, this man was flayed and impaled while still being alive. Gila. Ini para pengabdi setan. This mechanism is making the pendulum swing. There's no other explanation. I should try to stop the wheels, but I'd need something long and strong enough to do that. Oh, ini tuh nyambung this sama mechanism is I should try to nyambung sama yang bawah ya. What? Human skin. I still can't fathom the hate and cruelty shared among God's creations. Gila, ada kulit orang di situ. More blood. Wherever I go in this place, all I see is blood and death. Masuk nih, saatnya masuk sih. Nggak ada opsi lain. Sebaik bisa aja pakai kayu yang di depan terus buat mengalami ini. Tapi kayaknya nggak mungkin. I can't open it. The doorknob is missing. Kita harus keluar gitu. But this stake could be what I need for the mechanism of the wheel. Tapi gue juga mikirnya bisa manfaatin kayu itu. Mikirnya nggak bisa di, itu nggak bisa diambil kayu. This is a nightmare. It is massive, but I think I'll manage to carry it for this short distance. Ini nggak ada orang di dalam sini. Si pelaku yang nggak ada, si hater. Harus di stop ini atau ini? This mechanism is making the pendulum swing. There's no way to try. Tujuh bahkan, gue jadi pengen ngecek keluar dulu. Udah nggak bisa dilihat. Si satu-satu yang kita harus masuk lagi ke dalam. Uh, 
Come here. I'm... I'm too weak to... Hah? Ini udah... Bangun dari pandu... Uh, bangun dari tempat. Sharp enough to split a hair in two. I dare not imagine getting in the way of its swing. I can't see a thing. It looks bottomless. Gila ya di dalam ruangan sekecil ini ada tempat kayak gini. How did you find me? I thought you already left town. You can thank God for that. There's no time. We must get out of here. I don't know where Hatur is, but I fear he. No, not anymore. Please. Oh. I'm everywhere. I see and hear everything. Your body is yellow because of the robe, but you have a face. My face is a mask. Someone told me moon ghouls have yellow bodies and shadows instead of faces. So what are you? I am the king. You, that worm at your feet, the child on the pier. You all are slaves to Kasag. <laughs> What do you want? Where is Nermin? I don't know that man. More importantly, where is the book? Oh. What book? Get down. Crawl like a worm. Start praying to that god of yours. I <laughs> Please. We only want Victoria. You wouldn't be here. That was the case, facing the final moments of your existence. Tell me where Nerman is, and your agony will be brief. Give me the book, and your soul will be left to wander free. Don't do it, and you will be tortured until the last drop of blood has left your body. You will be then sent to Ahrizath to serve Kasag. Ini kayak Ahrizath sama Kasag ini nama fiksi deh. Aku belum belum pernah dengar. I know you talked to Victoria last night. She was asked the same questions and she refused to talk. Just like the two of you. Things would have been different for everyone if she did her part. What part? We came in this town to find... It hurts, I know. You should blame her. Didn't you hear the chief of police? Victoria and Nermin have disappeared. Norin is insignificant. A blind follower of that god of yours. You know exactly where they are hiding. I don't know what book you're talking about. Uh, Nikolai, do you? The Sekfra. I already told him. I don't know anything about it. The long-lost occult book. The original was destroyed by the Inquisition. It was. Until a new one was written. Enriched with secrets beyond your earthly realm, and more powerful than your silly little Bible. You know where it is, and you know what will happen if you don't give it to me. I'm giving you the last chance to speak up. And don't try to escape. Give up the book. Or tell me where it is. I should do something, but what? God help me! Ya bisa lihat-lihat dulu. Nih. 
sharp enough to split a hair in two. I dare not imagine getting in the way of its swing. I know where the book is. Tell me. I saw it in the house. Be more specific. The bookshelf, upstairs. I have searched the whole house. Don't try to lie to me. I have to remember. Enough with the two of you! Nikolai, do something! Oh! Uh! Ternyata gue belum mati I know you talk I know you talk to Vic It hurt I think it. I don't believe it was. You know. I'm giving you the last chance to speak up. And don't try to escape. Give up the book. Or tell me where it is. I should do something, but what? God help me. Tadi kan gue mati ya, jadi gue cepetin sampai sini aja ya. Terus tadi tuh gue pengen antara dua ini sih, cuman kan dia kan orang baik ya si Benedict ini. Pakai apa ya? Crucifix aja lah. I have your book. You worthless being! You will regret it! Help me tie him up. He knows what you did. Ponga. Let's get out of here. There's another lever at the top of the stairs. Remember, there can be only one God. Nothing in this pocket, and nothing in here. Wait, interesting. A key. Maybe we'll need it. Good idea to search him. Let's leave this place now. Bunuh nggak sih? Sharp enough to split it. Ini bisa nih kayaknya. Chanting gitu. Apa itu? Ah, gue mati lagi. Hah? Hmm. 
two nightmares, I'll, I'll, I'll take the one in my head. You should get some rest oh, too. Mm. I'm going to lay on the couch downstairs. Not really. As soon as he falls asleep, I'm getting out of here. When I close my eyes, I can still see the pendulum getting closer with each breath. What happened in the lodge? It was that detective. He deceived us. He pushed us into this trap. Thank God we split. We would have been both dead by now if we hadn't. How did Hatur manage to take you away? I don't know. He just appeared in front of my eyes. And then everything went dark. From then on, my mind kept phasing in and out. So... I don't remember much. Until I was awakened by these appalling screams. He was skinning a man. Alive. Impaled on a stake. Who was that skinned man? During one of the conscious phases, I remember seeing him in the boat. He had no skin on his face and no eyes. It was impossible to know his identity. He was a living corpse. What happened in the water mill? I don't want to talk about it. You are drained of energy. Your face is ghastly pale and you barely talk. But you don't seem physically injured. So what happened? I'm not certain we killed him, Benedict. Can death die? You heard his screams at the end. That man is no longer part of this reality. I think he, he cursed me. He said so many words in an ancient language, and then with it. every word that came out, there was a, a weight inside. It was becoming heavier, unpleasant, until unbearable. He was trying to curse my soul, Benedict. He wanted me to let it go. You are here. You survived. Calm down now. No need to talk about it anymore. There should be no more doubt, even for you. Victoria is involved in the horrors of this place. She's not. You heard her tour. He said that she was asked the same questions about Nerman in a book, which means she was captured and tortured too. That man was lying and he never said she was tortured, just that he asked her the same questions. Why did she rent the house for three nights? We were supposed to leave together immediately the next day. I don't know. She just said to me we were going to stay more. I thought she was just joking. You know her. No, I don't know her. Not anymore. It was Lucia, the owner of this cozy house, who told me it was rented for that long. Why would she stay this long and without telling us, if not for obscure intentions? She's not guilty, Benedict. For God's sake, it's your sister we're talking about. Did you know that Victoria and Hatur had a friendly conversation in the woods last night? Who told you that? Madame Vera, the neighbor. In the woods? I went in there and found fresh footprints near a mass of human remains. Can you explain that? It could have been someone else, or... or that neighbor is lying. Remember what Mostov said before letting us go? Hatur was looking for Victoria last night, before the incident at the castle. I don't believe anyone. She had nothing to do with those atrocities. To sum up, and please don't interrupt me. Victoria and Nerman disfigured the mayor to worship a malignant deity. I'm getting sick just by saying this, but the mayor was Nerman's father, so you can imagine what kind of monster he is. She dragged me into this town, claiming that we would be staying just one night. But she actually rented the house for three nights. Did she plan to sacrifice me to her new master? Maybe even the both of us? Hatur knew her. A man who called himself the king of a cannibal tribe. Maybe she has that book he was looking for. Maybe she just didn't want to tell him where Nermin is. All I know... A man that evil would have killed her in the woods if they didn't have a mutual agenda. Victoria left God and became what our parents feared she could be. She murdered that man in the Carcassa forest, and she murdered her unborn child. She did not. Our child is not dead. I already saw that in our family. Victoria became what our parents feared she could become. Our aunt. She never told me anything bad about your aunt. She murdered her unborn child, too. Murdered? 
That's impossible. Victoria would never have kept such a secret from me. Nikolai, she kept her mouth shut because she's afraid of becoming just like our aunt. Enough. Leave. You can say whatever you want. I know my wife is just a victim in this story. She's a good person. You should rest now. But first, let me just ask you what... Why did you choose to stay? You don't care about your sister. Even less about me. To find the truth. It's my responsibility to know what happened and to understand why she did it. Victoria became what our father hated. I want to know why. Well, it couldn't be simpler. The truth is right in front of you. You're just too blind to see it. What was that you wanted to ask me? In the watermill. You said to Hatur you came into this town to find something. What, exactly? Hatur said Kasag knows what you did. What did he mean by that? Don't answer. I just wanted to see your face while asking. I'll find the truth eventually. I should pay a visit to Mostov. He has a lot to explain and surely knows more about what's going on. It's a risk going there after what happened to Hatur. And there's still the chance they could take me in. But I think I'm out of options. I should leave him to rest. I might need him later. Need him. Most of the water. Most of the water. Lucia must have lit the fire. There are a few feathers and several burnt beaks among the warm glow of the embers. Jadi lu nggak istirahat nih? Kita keluar lagi nih. Ini. Eh, kok baik banget sih. Ini. I struggled to find a reason to do that. Hmm. Itu bukan gitu. Excuse me. Kau kira ada apa ini? Moskov tu, Moskov tu siapa? Hero mobil aja. Dia Moskov ya? Oh bukan. Tapi lihat lah, ada obrolan baru atau enggak? Excuse me. 
What do you want? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Orang itu bangun lagi. What do you want? Apakah di kantor polisi atau di dekat hutan? Ivan Kotar. His eyes are in every nook and cranny of this town. So many case files. It's sad when your life, your whole existence since the day you were born is reduced to a sheet of paper. Beati qui ambulant in lege domini. Amen to that. Kita nggak mungkin langsung masuk dong. Ya, ada tiga pintu di sini. Nah, kita sapa dulu. Officer, Officer Mars, stranger, do me a favor. Take a look at those two opened case files on the desk. Why? Just do it. Yonkadia disappeared on March 2nd, 1982. Person last seen on a full moon night. Multiple witnesses saw him talking to a strange tall man earlier that day. Clothes and personal belongings found in a trash bin near the railway station. Clothes were full of crow feathers and blood-stained. Analysis showed blood was of unknown animal origin. Haven Elizabeth McGuire. Date of disappearance is unknown. Talked to a few officers on a few occasions asking for directions was particularly interested in the mountain rented two rooms for two nights in the lodge goldin reasons unknown according to the receptionist she didn't eat nor sleep receptionist heard her talking to someone in the room the first night but saw no one with her before or after Adi Boyanich, such a beautiful dog. I looked at the case files. What was the point? Remember those people. They were strangers just like you. They wander around the town just like you. You don't get to walk safely in this valley. Sveti Kotar is a dangerous place. I know that. They knew too. And the ones that went missing before and after them. Everyone knows, but nobody cares. I understand. Thank you for being so thoughtful, officer. Just doing my job. Now tell me, what made you appear in front of my desk tonight? Mostov, bukan Moskov. I'm looking for Detective Mostov. He's downstairs with the mayor. Wait a minute. Who are you, anyway? I... Uh, this man doesn't seem to know about me in the interrogation. I'd better lie. Well? I was sent to bless the mayor's corpse before the funeral. Who sent you? Father Henry. Why? Is he all right? He always comes. Well, no. He didn't feel well tonight, and it was an important matter that couldn't wait. So, here I am. I agree. 
But you are a stranger. You don't live in Sveti Kotar. I'm a visiting priest of the Church of Ivan Kotar. I see. All right, Father. You may go see the mayor downstairs. It's the passage behind me. When did the disappearances start? Centuries ago. And no one did anything to stop it by now? Hey, we are doing the best we can, even though it helps nothing. If the efforts of the Inquisition were futile, then there's not much we can really do here. Just pray, I guess. What did the Inquisition do? They built this building, the Grimalda Castle, and the Church of Mary in the forest. Helped to materialize God, you know. They banned a Saboran name and religion, and they hunted them. Thanks to their efforts, many followers of the vile tribe were captured and executed. But the evil is still here. It's floating in the air, it's crawling under the ground, and it's poisoning the mines. Why not just abandon this valley, then? It's irreversibly cursed. Faith. We the Katarians are stubborn people. We may have little possessions, but we never lack faith. And one day, a savior will come, and we will be free of the malice. It's faith that keeps us living and hoping. There's a strange-looking mailbox outside. Mailbox? Yes, on the facade of the building. Ah. That is not the mailbox. It's for the denunciations. You let people denounce misdeeds by slipping pieces of paper into a box? Yes, as per the decree, proof of faith. Has this something to do with the edicts of faith from the past? I think so. The decree was enacted years ago by our beloved mayor. God bless his soul. And I know he was a great admirer of Inquisition's methods. I'm starting to pity the mayor. Has this something to do with the edicts of faith from the past? I think so. The decree was enacted years ago by our beloved mayor. God bless his soul. And I know he was a great admirer of Inquisition's methods. I'm starting to pity the mayor. What kind of denouncements are we talking about here? Denouncements that prove your faith to God. More specifically? You suspect someone to be a Saboran? You denounce him. Your neighbor shows a lack of faith. You denounce him. An old friend knew about a Saboran family, but said nothing? You denounce both him and them. You must act if you love God. Otherwise, you risk being taken away. What happens to the denounced ones? They are taken into the asylum for further inspection and, hopefully, successful exorcism. So take this matter seriously while in town. If you meet someone unfaithful, denounce them. Who decides if your faith is strong enough? I mean, officer, it's easy to say who is a subordinate, right? But how do you know if a believer is having a lack of faith? I know what you're thinking. But the men who decide make no mistakes. They have integrity. The warden and his staff are good people, exemplary believers. They have the town's full confidence. This man knows nothing about the conspiracy, or doesn't want to know about it. Do you see the paper forms and quill by the lamp? Combine them to file a denunciation, then take the form and put it into the box outside. It's that easy to show your love for God, while at the same time making this town a safer place. Whatever becomes of them at the asylum, I could denounce those I believe should be punished. After all, it is my duty as a man of God, and it's anonymous. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Chief Noren? He won't answer you. Your cousin, Davor Gorski, has sent me. Leave. Told you so. I have a gift for you. You want me to arrest you this time? It's a cleaver. Davor said that you... You may go in now. That was the sign.
Put that thing on my chair. The chair in front of the fireplace. What thing? The damn cleaver! If you need to talk to me, I'm here. You may go now. I see books of all kinds, but the religious type dominates the shelves. Zirkva, Redemptio, Ispoviedi, Rimska Katecheza, to name just a few I see on first glance. The Bible. I know nothing about flowers, but this one has a unique shade of blue. It's pretty, if not a bit strange to see in a man's office. It's an old shabby chair. The cleaver is placed on it as a trophy of some kind. I should be careful what I say. You won't take me in? Why would we? You're more valuable to us on the outside. Most of light. Letting us go was all planned. You seem shocked. Trust me. You wouldn't be wandering around the town if I didn't allow it. You think I... that we are going to lead you to Victorian and Nermin? Yes. Or they're going to come after you. But you are wrong. I'm never wrong. And I never fail. The cleaver I brought you. Stop! I just want to know the story behind it. I won't tell you. And neither will Davor. It seems a bit strange that a thing like that gave me access to your office. I have your fingerprints on it now. So? I did nothing. I just brought it to you. Oh, but you did more than that. You got involved in something your feeble mind cannot possibly comprehend. And what would that be? Keep asking, and you'll realize soon. Better just stop. Are you a devoted Catholic? You saw the Bible on my desk, or maybe the books on the shelves, and so now you think I am. Are you? God is my shepherd, and I am the shepherd of this town. Then you should know. You should understand that I couldn't have been involved in my sister's deeds. I'm a monk. I'm never wrong. You being a man of cloth doesn't change anything. I don't know you. Only God does. Your awaiting fate will prove to me what you really are. About the man in the yellow mask. The one your sister pushed to his death? About him, yes. Have you found his identity yet? No. And even if we did, I would never tell you. Stop asking. How good of a detective is Mostov? The best. Really? He doesn't seem to be focused all the time. Not sure if he's all that reliable either. He's obedient and disciplined. That's all I need from my men. Excuse me. God bless you, Benedict. It leads to the interrogation rooms. I have no intention of going down there. Remember, do not waste forms. Use them wisely and with utmost respect. They have the power to change someone's life forever. And don't forget to put them into the box outside. Otherwise, they are nothing but a worthless piece of paper. In a way, she is responsible for her mother's death. She is a sinner. But I won't be her judge. I won't denounce her. Okay. 
I have to think. For making fun of God and his followers. Lah lah lah, kok begini? <laughs> Kenapa di? God have no mercy on him, as he has no respect for you. Buka Devara dulu dah, buka Maret dulu. Excuse me. What do you want? I've talked to your cousin. And? He wasn't happy at all. What does that cleaver mean to him? <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> It's not! <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> Tell me about the cleaver. I have a feeling there's a dark story behind it. I'll never tell you, and he'll never tell you. Stop embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. Finally, Father, we were waiting on your arrival. God forgive me, but I started with the prayers in your absence. I hope I didn't cause any harm to this man's poor soul. You think God will forgive you for what you did to us, Benedict? I, I thought I heard Henry upstairs. It's what you thought you heard because we are already dead in your mind. That is absolutely not true. And why do you look so confused and uncomfortable to see me? It's not. I, I, I'm just... I'm horrified by what was done to our mayor. Take a look at him if you wish, or we can continue talking. I must warn you, though. What's hiding underneath that sheet could haunt you forever. And I must warn you, too. Henry knows I'm here, so do not try anything foolish. Type A, Type Zero. These bottles are all full of blood. I'm no expert, but I never knew blood to be taken out of corpses. Why would they do that? Wow. It 
must be the yellow mask the mayor was wearing when they found him in the forest. Yellow masks are nothing but disembodied skin faces of past Saboran's victims. Colored with sulfur and then smeared with some strange kind of wax to prevent decay. The skull was open to take a piece of the brain out. The eyes were gouged out and the skin ripped off of his face. Dreadful. Belittling. The worshipper took his face to create a new yellow mask, while the eyes and part of the brain were eaten as a part of the ritual. Slit open and disemboweled. This is what bewilders us. The heart was taken out and eaten as usual, but they never disemboweled the trunk. Strange. Answer me. Do you worship the evil and the unknown just like the man you follow? The man I follow? Hatur is a Saboran. What? What? Nikolai believed you. I didn't. But still, we both fell into Hatur's trap and were almost murdered. I... I... God, no. Are you sure? How can you be so sure? You must be lying. Do you think I am capable of lies? A man of God never lies. You... You are right. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. I swear to God, I didn't know who he really is. I, I, I was just following orders, but I'll do whatever it takes to be forgiven. Whatever it takes, whatever God demands. Then start showing some good faith by answering my questions. What happened last night? What do you mean? You were with Hatur and he was looking for Victoria. Why? I, I don't know. I can't remember. Where's Hatur now? Don't lie to me. You know the reason. I wasn't told anything. You're afraid of him. Hatur is no longer with us. You killed him? God has his ways of dealing with evil. All right, all right. I was just told we should find Victoria before she carries out whatever plans she had with Nermin plan she had? How do you know she had a plan? We know she met with Nermin and the cult the first time she came here. What are you talking about? This is our first time in this place. You didn't know? <laughs> that explains a lot. She visited a town a few months ago. No doubt about it. Multiple witnesses saw her. Who are the witnesses? I know only of Lucia, the owner of the house where we found you earlier. This means... Did Victoria stay in the same house back then? She did. Introduce herself as, uh, Petra. Why do you think she met with Nermin and the cult back then? You don't have to be smart to connect the pieces. She arrived just after Nermin's escape from the asylum. The case you've been working on. How do you know? I had a chat with the old man at the lake. Arsen. Good man. I regret taking his help, for it made me lose half of my brain. Right. So is it possible Victoria helped Nermin escape? Or did she arrive here when she found out about it? It's all connected. It must be. We're still trying to find out how. I said it before, and I'll repeat it now. It's crazy to think that your sister did all this. But if evidence leads us there, I'm sorry. The asylum is under the control of the subordinates, isn't it? I don't know. So why would they imprison Nermin? It doesn't make any sense. He's one of them. That's just a rumor Henry is trying to spread to the townspeople. No one, except for the warden and the staff, knows what's going on in the asylum. No one. Not even our chief. The more I learn about the truth, the less I can understand what happened. Did you identify the man with the yellow mask? The castle incident? Yes, the identity of the man that was pushed by Victoria. We found all his, or should I say most of his body parts. Wasn't easy. He splashed and ricocheted all over the chasm. Needless to say, due to severe disfiguration, we still haven't found out who he was. Getting his identity will be tough, if not impossible. You didn't find his hands? We did. 
Didn't you run the database against his fingerprints then? Do you know where you are? It's like we're stuck in medieval times. We don't have a database of any sort. Oh, for God's sake. He was wearing a yellow mask. You found his head. Don't you have his teeth? Only what's left of them. And they can't help in any way. I know what you're asking. I'm aware of identification through dental records. But we have no dentists in town. Even the teeth are rotting here. How can I get to the castle? It's very easy. Going out of the station, you turn right, and then just follow the river uphill. But forget about it. Grimalda is off limits every day of the year except on October 28th, which was yesterday. Maybe there could be some clues to who that man was. Something, anything. That's our job, not yours. And I would never let you go there, father. It's sealed and locked for a reason. A sealed door won't stop me if the truth moves me in that direction. You lost part of your brain by helping Arsen. Could you tell me what happened? I... uncovered something which I wasn't supposed to. Someone learned about my discovery and... tried to kill me. I... still can't remember what I found and who attacked me. Heck, sometimes I can't even remember what I did yesterday. But God help me, I'll find the truth. Yes, I will. Excuse me. Father, could you do me a favor? Oh, it depends on the request. Please go upstairs and ask Officer Maz to give you the case file I handed to him earlier. I want to make things right. You want to make things right? What do you mean? Just trust me. Go get it. I don't want to leave the mayor now. I have to pray for his poor soul. I'll do it. Thank you, Father. Excuse me. No. It's probably the room where they keep the corpses. Don't you know, him. Detective Mostov sent me to get a case file for him. He said nothing to me. The one I handed you before. Give him just the note from inside. No problem, father. Excuse me. I have to go downstairs to talk to Mostov first. Oh. Yeah, boy. He's gone. I had to go, Father. I apologize. What Maz gave you is the last page of Victoria's notebook. We found it in the belfry at the crime scene. Other notes are irrelevant, dated months ago. No one will notice a page missing. This is the only evidence I can give you. Hope it helps for you to find her. And for me to be forgiven of my sins. P.S. If you need me later, come visit me. Once you get out of the station, turn right 
and then just follow the narrow street until you reach the last house on the hill. PPS. Burn this note. This is his way of making things right? I'll take the note as evidence, and it could help me to find his house later. Oke, sampai sini dulu kali ya game ya. Semakin kemari tuh semakin membingungkan ya. Banyak misteri-misteri yang makin, uh, ya beberapa jelas gitu ada jawabannya. Tapi jawabannya itu juga sebenarnya bikin pusing. Jadi sama aja tetap membingungkan gitu. Contoh kasusnya kayak si Victoria aja deh. Victoria itu kan kita ada dua sisi kan. Satu sisi yang bilang Victoria itu jahat sama satu sisi yang bilang Victoria itu baik sebenarnya dan semuanya kayak gitu <tuh> gue nggak tahu ini ceritanya bakalan dibawa kemana ujungnya soalnya kayak di mana mana tuh banyak banget twist 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 twistnya terus satu hal lagi kayak gue yakin si Hatur itu belum mati ya Soalnya pas dia teriak, terakhir kan dia masih kedengeran suara chantingnya. Sepertinya sih dia masih hidup. <tuh> ya, nanti kita bakal lanjutin lagi gamenya. Dan gimana cerita kelanjutannya. Tungguin terus ya videonya. Uh, thank you banget yang udah nonton. Bye-bye.